Hi, uh, this is uh, a very interesting set from CAT 2003 retest. So in this question, there are seven uh, management faculty. They usually visit a lounge for some strong coffee and intellectual uh, discussions. And uh, based on some clues, some faculty have arrived first, some, pe some people have left in the middle. So we need to find the order of their arrival and their departures based on certain clues. So this is a very interesting question. So please follow uh, all the steps one by one. And after this question, you just practice on your own a couple of times because these kind of questions have more probability to appear in the future CAT tests. So let us look at the first few clues. So JC, the first faculty member, I came in first and the next two persons to enter were SS and SM. Uh, while I left the launch, JP and VR were present in the launch. So DG left with me. So this is the first clue. So this is a huge data. So all the seven faculty members have given some statements. So it is very difficult to remember all these data. So let us uh, make a small diagram to understand when, when they arrived and when they left. So I usually follow a linear kind of diagram. So I'm representing uh, my entire data with a single line. So the order of the arrivals are right at the top of this line order of their departures I write right at the bottom so so that you can uh, feel like this question is uh, you know you're following all the clues very easily so the first clue Jesse I came in first so Jesse is the first person who came in first the next two persons to enter were SS and SM so it is already given it is fixed so SS and SM so this is the first person this is the second person this is the third person now uh, when I left the launch, JP and VR were present in the launch. You can see by the time JC left, SS and SM both were not there. That means before JC left, SS and SM both must have left. And there are two more people, JP and VR were present and DG left with me. That means there is another person, DG must have arrived before JC's uh, departure. So therefore, uh, JC and DG left, right, along with uh, the same. So they both... Uh, left together therefore so jc and dg i am writing here that means dg must have arrived uh, sometime before right after sm definitely because sm is the third person to arrive if you look at uh, uh, the uh, third clue uh, sm what sm is saying i went to the launch for a short while i met jc ss and dg in the launch that day see that means SM met JC, SS and DG also, correct? That means DG must have arrived before SM left. So let us put tentatively DG here. This is the arrival and SM left here. SM left, right? That means according to these clues, so SM has seen all the three people, JC, SS and DG, right? And uh, if you look at uh, uh, JP's clue, the second clue, when I entered the launch with VR, that means JP and VR came together, JC was sitting there. So that means, uh, and there was someone else, but I cannot remember who it was. So it is already given that JC and DG uh, left together. Definitely uh, JP must have seen DG, right? The, the second person. And that means by the time JP and VR together entered that launch, so SM and SS both must not be there, right? So that means before uh, JP and VR enter into this launch, SM and SS both must have left. So if you look at the clue number uh, four, I left immediately after SM, SM left, right? SS said that I left immediately after SM left. That means SS must be here. And if you look at the second clue again, when I entered the launch with VR, JC was sitting there. SM and SS both were not there. That means uh, VR along with JP must have arrived here. So VR and JP together arrived here. JP arrived here. Right. Now let us check for the consistency. The first clue, JC, I came in first. SM and uh, SS both were there, the next two persons, SS and SM. When I left the launch, JP and VR were present. So when these people left, JC and DG, JP and VR were there, SM and SS both left, right? So consistent with the first clue. Second, JP, when I entered the launch with VR, JC was sitting. So JC and DG both must be there, SM and SS, they must have already left. Uh, SM, I went to the launch for a short while and I met JC, SS and DG. So JC, SS and DG, right? SM met 
all the remaining three people definitely so sm left after dg arrived into that launch and ss immediately left after sm so as far as this diagram is concerned this is very much consistent so let us look at the remaining clues so what dg has said dg i met dc uh, i met jc ss sm jp and vr so he met five people jc ss sm because after the dg arrival only sm and ss left that means dg must have met these two people and also dg left at this point that means he must have met vr and jp and jc also so definitely this is consistent with uh, these statements and also it is given that uh, i went back to my office with dc jc so this is also correct it is already given in the first clue so dg also confirmed that and when i went to the launch for the second time jp and vr were there so this is an interesting uh, development here so he entered the launch second time he left at this point he entered the launch once again but at that time uh, who were there jp and vr you can see by this point who are there in the launch jc dg both left sm and ss both were left right so four people left four people all the four people left only two people are remaining vr and jp so dg said that when i entered the launch for the second time jp and vr were there definitely that means dg must have returned to the launch immediately probably after some time and uh, let us look at the remaining clues pk uh, i had some urgent work so i did not sit in the launch uh, that day but i col just collected my coffee and left jp and dg were the only people in the launch when i was there so jp and dg you can see here dg must have seen these two people and when pk entered he has seen only jp and dg vr was not there that means when pk entered into the launch vr must left in between these two right so this is consistent with the diagram so if you look at the pk statement once again uh, so forget about his uh, taking coffee and other things so just look at the last part so jp and dg were the only people so jp and dg were only the people so we are already left so when pk entered only two people were there in that launch and when asked uh, we are about something he said that no comment so that clue is uh, uh not useful for us so this probably be the correct diagram right so uh, this is not that much tough but just practice a couple of times so that if you first time when you are solving this question you may take some time but if you understand how to make these uh, uh this kind of ordering then this is very much useful for your cat questions so let us look at the questions one by one based on the responses which of the two uh jp and dg entered the launch first so jp and dg who entered the launch first dg is the fourth person to arrive right so therefore we'll go for answer option 2 uh next who was sitting with jc when jp entered the launch so when jp entered the launch dg must be there right so because jc and dg both uh, left the launch after jp arrived and sm and ss already left therefore uh, the person who is sitting with jc was dg so option 3 is the correct one and uh, next question how many of the seven members did vr meet on friday in the launch so we have to find how many people vr met so vr arrived here along with jp definitely he must have met jp and jc and dg both left after him that means uh, vr must have left these two people also so dg arrived uh, again immediately so we already counted here so we should not count so by the time vr left he met three people jp jc and dg this is a repetition so don't count that so only three people uh, so we'll go for answer option 2 next question uh, who were the last two faculty members to leave the launch so pk came and immediately left so we should not count pk right so pk immediately left so by the time pk left so dg and uh, jp both were there in the launch we are already left so definitely jp and dg are the two people uh, who left the launch Uh, in the last right so what we can do pk came and immediately left so we'll just put pk here so that don't get any confusion so pk came and left so the people who are in that launch were jp and dg right still to the end so therefore we'll go for answer option 4 jp and dg and uh, this completes this set